Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? Luke 18.8 It is foretold that, when Christ comes to plead his people's cause, he will find but little faith in comparison with what one might expect. That is, 1. In general, he will find but few good people, few that are really and truly good, many that have the form and fashion of godliness, but few that have faith, that are sincere and honest. Nay, he will find little fidelity among men, the faithful fail. Psalm 12, 1. Even to the end of time, there will still be occasion for the same complaint. The world will grow no better. No, not when it is drawing towards its period. Bad it is, and bad it will be. And worst of all, just before Christ's coming. The last times will be the most perilous. 2. In particular, he will find few that have faith concerning his coming. When he comes to avenge his own elect, he looks if there be any faith to help and to uphold, and wonders that there is none. Isaiah 59.16 and 63.5 It intimates that Christ, both in his particular comings for the relief of his people, and in his general coming at the end of time, may and will delay his coming so long as that, first, wicked people will begin to defy it, and to say, where is the promise of his coming? Second Peter 3, 4. They will challenge him to come, Isaiah 5.10. Amos 5.19 And his delay will harden them in their wickedness. Matthew 24.48 Secondly, even his own people will begin to despair of it, and to conclude he will never come, because he has passed their reckoning. God's time to appear for his people is when things are brought to the last extremity. And when Zion begins to say, The Lord has forsaken me, see Isaiah 49, 14 and 40, 27. But this is our comfort, that when the time appointed comes, it will appear that the unbelief of man has not made the promise of God of no effect.